thank you, Professor Kostner. Uh, so uh, I'm Yan Fausu, I'm a PhD candidate and I work with Professor Luna Lu. And today I'm going to share with you the machine learning based concrete properties monitor through the nano sensor. So uh, to begin with, uh, the, uh, as you know, concrete strength monitoring and prediction is pretty critical, especially to ensure the concrete property for preventing the premature failure of the concrete structure. So our previous study has already shown that the electric mechanical impedance method coupled with the piezoelectric nanosensor can effectively monitor the in-situ strength scan of the concrete. As you can see uh, on your right, right hand side, uh, uh, we caught, we in, uh, coordinate with uh, Indiana DOT and we embedded a several sensor on the uh, Interstate Highway I-70, I-74 or I-475 uh, and we got some promising results as you can see and, uh, and our results currently published on ACM Material Journal this year so you can refer this uh, article to see our work. Uh, but uh, in order to uh, know or to improve the sensing uh, uh, reliability and accuracy, it's essential to understand the sensitive parameters of the field cure concrete in corresponding to the major concrete property, including the compressive strength and the electromechanical impedance response uh, I just mentioned. And uh, here we we propose to use a machine learning approach to achieve this and to build a nonlinear model for pre predicting. So uh, we uh, select the uh, different independent concrete parameter and we uh, prepare the large step testing and uh, to, uh, to evaluate or to, pr to predict and to compare with the mechanical property we we got. And uh, finally, uh, we will train the machine learning model and uh, open the black box of the machine learning model to see what the sensitive parameter for those. So uh, this slide shows, uh, just shows the, the uh, experimental design for our large lab testing. So uh, we prepare uh, six set of uh, uh, large slab uh, with the dimension of eight feet by 12 feet by uh, the depth is eight inch. So this is a typical uh, Indiana pavement design. So uh, I wanna highlight that uh, we prepare six different slabs and uh, three of the slab we add the nano silica uh, into the slab and, and the three of slab we set as a reference and uh, for for the water to thinner ratio is from 0.3a to 0.45. And uh, this slide shows the uh, uh, detail of the experimental works, which uh, we put the cast in place uh, mode inside the wood brand before casting the concrete so that we can pull out the sample for the compressive testing. And also we embed many sensor into the uh, different location of the slab. And uh, at the same time, we do the eight by six, uh, uh, six by eight mode sample. And after one day, uh, we cold drill some sample out and also compare the result with the cold, cold drill sensor. And uh, this work is conducted especially for the early age up to seven days. So uh, this is the setup for the EMI sensing. So uh, basically, uh, since we embedded uh, many sensors inside the uh, concrete slab, so we built our multiplexer using the Arduino board and uh, uh, connect with the impedance analyzer and laptop, and we form an automatic sensing system with uh, coupled with some software. And yeah, and uh, this I just give you the. Uh, 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 result of the compressive strength we obtained from the slab. And I select water to the marriage ratio U.38 as representative uh, sample. Uh, so here you can see that uh, we have uh, three different type of compressive strength, uh, uh, three different type of uh, sample. Uh, I wanna highlight that the CIP is the case in place uh, sample. And uh, it's a radar, so 
it's very obviously that uh, CIP strength results are higher than a 4 by 8 mode sample and the cold drill sample. This is probably due to uh, uh, the large step uh, can hold the temperature for the uh, CIP molded uh, cylinder so that it can achieve the high strength at the early age. And also on, on your uh, right hand side is the uh, uh, nano silica. Uh, the slab with nail silica compared with the reference sample. And uh, is, we observed that a nano silica enhances strength performance of the slab uh, during this uh, early age. So uh, it comes to the machine learning part. Is, uh, so for here, we built the uh, machine learning algorithm using the artificial neural network. And uh, so for the input part, we uh, we consider a mixture design and uh, the different type of modes. Since I just introduced, we have three type of different type of modes and the ambient weather condition and the curing uh, uh, curing age as input. And we go through the uh, feed forward multi layer network trend with the base propagation algorithm so that we can get the uh, Estimate measure concrete properties such as uh, the strength and the EMI result. So it's very important to do the hyperparameter tuning before you build up the whole algorithm. So uh, here I just list uh, several uh, important parameters like how many neurons and how many layer and what's the learning rate you're gonna choose and. To do this, uh, we did a great, great search for the uh, best hyperparameter in advance, and then we build the whole model for the training. So this I just show you uh, how we uh, find uh, uh, more efficient neurons. Like uh, we do the grid search, and then we find out that this type of neuron, this size of neuron, are good, and also. Uh, it's important to select the uh, uh, activation function. And uh, among the four commonly used activation function, we find out that the Litchi rectify linear union, which is the ReLU function, is, has a better performance in terms of a lower IMSE result and higher R, R square score, since the Litchi ReLU considering the negative part of the whole function. And also, uh, we consider use a different type of optimizer. And uh, here we use the SDGD, is a stochastic gradient descent and the Adam brand and uh, the RMS propagation. And the final, the, uh, the last one is uh, adaptive gradient descent optimizer. And as you can see on your right hand side, uh, uh, left, left hand side, the lows uh, converge for the for different optimizer uh, with the uh, APR increase. And, uh, and uh, among those uh, four optimizers, we find out that uh, the uh, uh, Adam Graham is more promising. So we use this in, we incorporate the uh, Adam Graham into our uh, neural network. So, uh, so in order to open the black box of the machine learning, uh, and we figure out we can use this uh, sensitivity analysis to and to to analyze the uh, the weight inside the neural network. And here we propose to use the IFF, which is the importance of impact factor. So basically, uh, we extract those weights from the, each layer of hidden neuron and also the neuron before the output layer and uh, we go through the calculation process and then it will come up with the percentage of uh, which parameter is more important for training uh, uh, nonlinear function. So uh, this slide shows the sensitivity analysis of the mechanical property which is uh, which we use the input we use uh, is uh, independent concrete parameter. The output we use is uh, compressive strength obtained from different type of modes. Uh, so uh, 
as you can see, our NN prediction score is pretty high. It's uh, R squared 0.98. And uh, so uh, we have a result of the data with the age. So for the prediction compares this trend, especially at early age and the very early age, the age plays an important role for building the prediction function. Since the hydration of the early age go, go very fast. And if we excluded the age, then uh, we find out that the, the ambient humidity and the cement among nano silica uh, amount and also the water uh, play uh, uh, is the uh, important factors that affect the comparative trend prediction of the and, and and we're also interested in uh, uh, what's the sensitive, sensitive parameter for each different type of model. So we separate those data sets and then we retrain different models. And, and we see that the, for the R squared score are all as high as 0 0.98, which is good. And the, uh, the figure shows the IFS percentile versus a different mode. And since there are many, uh, uh, parameters and so I only highlight some uh, important parameters such as uh, we can see that uh, for the green bar is uh, uh, nano silica content and uh, I think uh, based on our observation of this result is crit critical parameter for the uh, cold drill and the CIP sample based uh, model and uh, also as I just mentioned ambient humidity is essential parameter for both three types of the sample. And uh, I want to highlight that for the ambient temperature. Uh, for the CIP mode, uh, the NN puts less weight on the CIP mode compared with the multi sample. This is probably uh, uh, echo to what I previous uh, says that the large step is able to uh, hold the temperature for the mode. So, so in that, the, internal temperature of the CIP mode is not significantly affected by the ambient temperature. And this but not least is the sensitivity analysis of uh, with in corresponding to the EMI index. And for this model, we got uh, R square uh, of uh, 0 0.93, which is pretty good. And uh, if we uh, compare the EMI best model and uh, the comparative Strength gas model we can see is very similar pattern uh, as a result. And uh, since the EMI method is a vibration based centimeter, so the NN put more weight on the solid material such as gravel and the same content. So, uh, in a nutshell, uh, our study uh, employee the multi-layer neural network algorithm to understand the sensitive parameter. And uh, we have some hyperparameter suggestion and uh, how to use the activation function and the, and the optimizer. And uh, we also uh, provide some uh, important factor which we observe from, the, uh, from our uh, network. And uh, so it would be good if we can incorporate uh, different dosage of nano or SCMS in the data set, it can improve the uh, comprehensibility of the prediction model in the future. Yeah. So, yeah, so I will acknowledge my uh, faculty advisor, Professor Luna Lu, and uh, my next colleague in the funding agency uh, in that Purdue and the certification project. Okay, thank you.